Well, it rained like the Dickens. Look out, people. How cool does that look? There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Holy dinosaurs, everyone. Here it comes. Here he comes. Look at this. Whoosh. Is that dog insane? But how cool does the lagoon look, people? These animals lived with our buddy Fred for so many years. Just loved them as much as Fred loved them. That's what makes me happy. I just absolutely love the fact that we get to hang with these guys here. Oh, you almost got it. Come on, there it is, there it is. Look at that monster. He is beautiful. Oh, it just makes me so happy, man. Makes me so flippin' happy. Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here, and uh, what are we doing? Well, we're walking on over to see uh, some of the animals because we finally got a rainstorm. We had a tropical depression uh, swing on through this past weekend, and uh, it's what I've been waiting for, my friends, because you see, the old camp was a little dry. As you guys know, we were having a lot of problems with uh, lack of rain because of, uh, you know, in the old Fred's Lagoon. And, uh, well, let's go to Fred's Lagoon and see the two goons in Fred's Lagoon. We gotta see Snaggy and Dale. And uh, I wanna show you guys how cool the lagoon looks. Uh, in the meantime, there is Cayman Creek. We had a little of erosion, a little bit of erosion. I knew that was gonna happen. Not worried about it at all, no big Dale. Once all the plants grow, uh, everything should be uh, doing really well. And I, I love this enclosure. Let's, uh, let's actually have a little gander. What's going on in here? Look at this. Things are growing. Um, I removed a palm tree that died. Sadly, the palm tree didn't work too well, so I took it out. Um, but here is the old creek. There's Lobo. Crazy Bo. Crazy Lobo. Got news for Lobo too. Lobo's gonna go get trained. It's gonna be very exciting. Uh, we're gonna get him professionally trained because that dog is a lunatic. And uh, I am not a dog trainer. But in the meantime, look at this. Here's our female. Hey girl. Hey lady. There is the gal smooth front right here. And then the male's just hanging out down in there. Uh, he's just hanging. Let's see. We got a little croc diet. Let's see. You hungry? Clearly not. Not in the mood. All right. Still shy, these guys. Um, we did get some fish, some blue acara um, cichlids from South America. They're down in here. We got tadpoles in here. It's very, very good stuff. The, the place is starting to grow. Things are starting to grow. These were funny. These hibiscus were plants that were just being thrown away. And my buddy said I can come grab them. He owns a um, nursery. They were all just in a pile. I planted them and wapai, uh, they're all doing well. See those hibiscus plants? Such cool stuff. So um, yeah, well it rained like the Dickens. And uh, look at this, there was a lot of mud here. Uh, you can see I was running the Bobo with the bicycle. But this is what it's all about. <clears throat> look out people. How cool does that look? It is filled up. Oh, and here she comes. Oh, and there's big boy. Woo, there's the big fella. There he is. Big snags. Oh my gosh, let's go see what's going on with Snaggy Tooth. Where's Snaggy Tooth? Wait, I got the wrong one. Hold on, I gotta get this coat in. Oh, there's mama. All right, mom. She's running the bobo. The kids are, that's how we, that's how we get this dog entertained. You just gotta run him. He's a character, okay. Here we go. Oh, there's big boy. There is big snaggy tooth right there. Holy smokes, look at him. All right, let's just shut this gate so my dog doesn't come get eaten by a gator and then we'll get him in the water. Come on guys. Holy Toledo, look at the size of him. He is awesome, man. Love my gator. I'll tell you what, maybe I'll go in on the other side and we'll give some of this chow to these guys. Um, I just don't want to, he, he's really something. You guys have seen that he's been chasing me lately. There you go, buddy. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you in the face, but I kind of did, didn't I? He's looking good, doesn't he? Looks real good, man. Holy dinosaurs, everyone. 
such amazing beasts. Let's go ahead, walk around the other side. I just want to show you the enclosure. I think it looks amazing. And that's what happens in the summertime. It just gets filled up here. Oh, look at this, look at this. There he goes, there he goes. Come on, come on, Snags. Oh, you big dinosaur, you. Big boy, big boy, sliding into the water. Let's go on the other side and we'll see if we can get them to swim over to us so you can really see how well they're doing. Look at the family on the bike. Look, there, here comes, here he comes. Look at this. Is that dog insane? That dog is all energy, people. So we like to run him and just tire him out because when he's tired, he's a lot more well behaved. And it's good for us because we get exercise too, right, Mom? Oh, yeah. yeah, go get him. Go get him, Lobo. Yeah, so um, I did a video a few years ago with a guy, Mike Lorraine, and uh, he trains canines and Malinois, and he does a lot of training. And um, Lobo, uh, this past week when we were sick, um, it was a lot of work for us. It was just, I, I mean, honestly, I was freaking out because I didn't feel good, and then Kate didn't feel good, and just having this guy needing exercise and stuff it was really it was one of those moments where you're like why did i get a dog and i just have to admit i i'm not a dog trainer and i want him to live a full life and be a good dog so i think it's beneficial for me to get lobo properly trained so that uh we can all enjoy him and he can enjoy his life and he has a purpose and so we're gonna do that, and of course I'll do some videos on that. But here is, here we go, guys. This is what's happening here. Here it comes. Look at this. Have you, a 12-foot gator swimming happily. Look at this. He's swimming around. Now I got to be careful because, being that there's a lot of water in here now, she can come up this way, and I would rather them all just kind of be in one area. So here comes, here comes the snags. Here comes the snags, and I want to keep him in the water, so let's go ahead and throw. Let's see if he can figure out. Up, oh, right there on your head. Come on. Come on. Stay in the water. That's a boy. Look at how beautiful that beautiful alligator is. My gosh. Now, where is Lady Dale? We got to get a, uh, we got to get her figured out. Where is our, oh, she's over on the other side, guys. But what I don't want, I don't want her to come up the other side of this island. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. All right. He's going to start seeing the foods. Now, believe it or not, Snaggletooth has been quite brave lately. Where he's been coming out and he's been like chasing me all over the place. Uh, we saw that in the video in the past, but Snaggy is uh, very active right now on account that it's summer. But how cool does the lagoon look, people? What do you guys think? It looks pretty darn cool. And uh, my gosh, this is this is what it's supposed to be like. Now, remember when I used to get in here and I used to go looking for uh, I used to go looking for the turtles. I don't think I'll ever be back in. Oh, look at this guy. There's my boy. We got to run him around. But look at this, such a cool critter. There's food right there, there's the food. Get your little biscuit, buddy. Uh-oh, get the biscuit, get the biscuit. Stay in the water, that's a good boy, Snaggy Tooth. Oh my gosh. There we go, good boy. Good boy, having a nice little snacky poo. And it's uh, always about keeping your wits about you with these two. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Such a cool gator. Now, I just don't know where the gal is. Where's my lady? There you go, Snaggy. We gotta get Dale some food. Where's Dale's food? But this is what I, I always wanted to have happen. I wanted, the, uh, I wanted this place to fill up. I knew it was gonna look so cool. For those of you who haven't been following the channel for too long, you probably haven't seen it like this. Here's come Dale. Good, she's coming in this area. Come on, Dale. Ow, 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 ow. <clears throat> we got plenty of food for the both of them. Good job, good job. Here she comes. So let's see. Get over here. Get over here. How cool to see him out, just kind of hanging about, 
Now here she comes and we'll get some of this croc chow in the water. Come on girl. Oh, what's she doing over there? Does she see some food? Hmm, I gotta have both my eyes going. There we go, there we go. See that? She's gonna see that one and grab it. Chompers. Good boy, Snaggy. I like that you're holding for me. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, so cool. And she's chomping too. Come on, girl. Look at that. But just to see these guys have so much water and that they're so happy in here. There you go. Oh, you missed it. Come on, man. <clears throat> Look at that monster. He is beautiful. Woo! She'll get that one, no problem. Oh, wow, she's coming. She missed it. What do I... Oh, she went for the, a floating stick right there. So what do you guys think? Um, do you love having the uh, gators as part of an addition here to the channel and the camp? What do you guys think? I'd love to know. What do you think of the lagoon? Does it look good? Uh, they seem real happy in it. And the water is nice and filled up. It's sort of clean. <laughs> I mean, it's mucky water, but they love that stuff. That is definitely how they like to be living. He's being very well behaved, but he is a big dude. Big dude. Come on. That's a boy. Come on, lady. Come on, lady. Come on on closer here. But remember, there, I mean, it's so cool to, the fact that now there's an uh, island and it still has pretty, pretty, uh, a lot more it can fill up. If you see that white pipe right there, that white pipe actually is an overflow. So this water will flow into the main pond over there. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. That's a good baby girl. And then we'll give you one. We'll give you one because she usually steals all your food, doesn't she, big fella? <clears throat> it's pretty amazing that I get to hang out and feed these two beasts and, you know, uh, these animals lived with our buddy Fred for so many years and uh, just being able to kind of care for them and just love them as much as Fred loved them. That's what makes me happy, man. I just absolutely love the fact that we get to hang with these guys here. Oh, you almost got it. Come on. There it is. There it is. Good girl. Let's keep the... Oh, come on. It's right there. <laughs> so awesome. We're getting low here on our croc chow, so there they are. Look at that. Look at that big guy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Oh, careful. That's nice. That's nice. Come on. Come over there. Good girl. What beasts? I mean, it is really something. If you are a reptile lover and have been like I have been since I was a little kid, this is, I mean, this is the dream come true, right? To actually have adult American alligators um, and to be able to care for them and have the right permitting. And whew, it is such a privilege to, to care for these animals and that they're safe here in this big enclosure, man. I love it. I think it's so awesome. <clears throat> and you can see how they just are triggered to get moving. There you go. As soon as something hits the water, they just go for it. That's it. That's all the food, dude. Yeah, check it. You can see we've got just an amazing habitat for these animals. You see the pond, or rather the island. Um, they are just, look at all that space. They've got so much space, so much room to move. It just makes me so happy, man. Makes me so flippin' happy. All right, guys, <clears throat> that's it. That's our little snack. I just needed to show people what I knew this place would look like, right? You guys, they were so happy. He was bellowing this morning. We woke up to the sounds of, you know, the late Cretaceous period, which I always find uh, very fun, very cool. The fact that these guys, you know, I'm living with dinosaurs essentially, or rather living with animals that, um, you know, their ancestors lived alongside the dinosaurs. So, so amazing. Um, God, I'm so stoked that I get to hang out and show this to you guys. 
they are truly just the most amazing animals. So there you have it. You guys got all your food. Now, if I came in here with my bucket, they know that bucket is food and they come flying out when they see that bucket man. Look at him go. Holy smokes. I love it. I love it. They've got that water in the middle is about five foot deep. So they are able to really uh, submerge and swim and just behave the way they should. And I, I wonder, you know, I mean, because it's nice and deep like this, one of the reasons they didn't reproduce um, at Fred's was because they just didn't have deep enough water to do it. So now they've got deep enough water. I wonder if in a year or so uh, we'll get some babies which would be interesting. I, I'd love for her to go through um, her full, you know, natural history of what she's supposed to be doing. Uh-oh. Rut row. You, get, you guys getting hungry still? You, you're being very well behaved, and I appreciate that. Very well behaved. Good boy. Good boy. There's still food out in the middle there, guys. But, I mean, my gosh. What gorgeous animals. And I love Snaggletooth's little divot in his jaw. I think it gives him character. Uh, she, on the other hand, is just absolutely a flawless female. So awesome. Look at that. Are you serious? I mean, are you guys serious? Look at him go. What chompers. What do you think, sweetheart? Yeah, it looks good. She does. It just looks so cool with them here. And Kate did not want alligators when I first told her we were getting them, but she's come to love them. In fact, She's the one that heard him bellowing this morning. She always wants to rush out and see him when he's bellowing, but he's so sneaky that uh, he does not like to show off. He'll bellow and bellow, but as soon as Kate opens the back door, he decides, that's it. I don't want to, to be seen doing this. But my gosh, I mean, these two are gorgeous. Gorgeous animals, <clears throat> and uh, what an honor to have them. What an honor. My gosh, oh God. Look who's behind me. It's my Looney Tune puppy. There he is. He's all, oh, he's been wet. Lobo's been wet, but <sighs> we're going to have so much fun with Lobo, getting him trained. It's going to be pretty cool. And you guys will be along for that too. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out here at the lagoon, Fred's Lagoon here at Camp Cannon to see Snaggletooth and Lady Dale and to see just how beautiful their enclosure is getting here in the summertime. We'll have more consistent rains now that we're in hurricane season. Uh, these two are gonna be very, very pleased. And again, we still have more this needs to fill up. So uh, pretty, pretty good stuff. And uh, again, look at all the trees have grown in, all the cypress have grown in. The papyrus looks good. I mean, weeds are growing up. These guys, you saw him, he was just kind of out sunbathing. Oh, it's so amazing. Look at these two, still looking for more food. These guys get fed once a week and then I give them some treats. I don't like to overfeed them. They're very well fed here in captivity. Uh, so we want to make sure that they do not have uh, or do not get overfed. So that's why they get a couple of little snacks during the week and then one proper feeding of whole prey so that they have bone and muscle and protein and they get to swallow that all and they convert it into the nutrients that they need. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments below. Fred's Lagoon, are we doing a good job here? Would love to hear from you. Thanks so much. Talk to you again. Bye.